Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run fully working Windows XP in your Android and how you can access internet that Windows and how you can run any software in that Windows. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows XP in your Android and how you can access internet in that Windows XP. So this is the demanded video, a lot of people commenting on my videos to show that video. Uh, how we can access internet uh, in windows xp in my previous video i've already shown that how you can access internet in windows vista how you can access internet in windows 7 windows 8.1 and windows 10 also you can check out my channel there are a lot of videos on my channel and this is the windows xp perfectly working with internet so first thing let me clear you this is the not the official version of the windows xp so this is the uh, fully uh, changed and uh, modded version so this uh, the developer changed everything in that windows xp so let me just show you how you can run in android so first of all you have to download the limbo pc emulator application the downloading in the description and second thing you have to download the windows xp vsd file the downloading in the description and it will be approx 1.54 gb so now make sure you have connected with the internet before opening the opening the limbo pc emulator now you have to open the limbo pc emulator application and make sure you are using a 5.1.0 version of the limbo pc emulator so as you can see this is the interface of the limbo I have to click on the none you have to click to new if you are new here channel you can check out my previous video there are a lot of videos on my channel about the limo pc emulator so here you have to type the name i'm going to give this name windows xp so now so here now you have to get into the user interface and make sure the display is always on this dl make sure it will be on the full screen as you can see like this so this is the same setting you have to do in your limo pc emulator and you have to get into the cpu and boards you have to select the architecture 64 you have to select the CPU model, Codeo, CP cores. I'm going to select four. Or uh, RAM. I'm going to select uh, about uh, 1500 MB of RAM because this is the Windows XP. Uh, did not require a lot of RAM, so I'm going to select 1500 MB of RAM. You have to enable MTTCG, and you have to uncheck the disable uh, uh, TSC. So this is the settings you have to do in the CPU and board. Now you have to get to the disk. Uh, one thing I'm going to tell: make sure these settings you have to do same settings in your Android phone. Uh, if you change if you try to change something the windows will not going to boot in your android if this same setting will not work you have to increase or decrease the ram you can change the processor make sure you enable the mttcg and uncheck the disable sts so this is the same setting you have to do in your android phone to work windows xp so you have to get into the disk and select disk a click to none click to open now you have to uh, select the windows xp file they have told you to download the download in the description so I have selected now you have to get to the boot you have to select the boot from hard disk and network so this is the main important thing of this video the we are because we can access internet in this uh, or windows xp so i'm going to select the network card so this is the network card you have to select rt uh, i8139 so this is the network card i'm going to select and the internet will only work with this card so now you get into the advanced you have to click on the high priority so we have done all the settings in the limo pc emulator now i'm going to click to play button make sure before clicking play button make sure you enable the internet it's maybe mobile data or wi-fi i have connected with my wi-fi so i'm going to just click to play button after clicking play button the windows xp started booting it will not going to take a lot of time as you can see booted has been started it been only take about two, one to two minutes and maybe can take less time so as you can see this is the microsoft windows xp booting up here So as you can see in the screen, the Windows XP successfully booted in Android. And as you can see, there is something uh, different. This is not fully look like Windows. I've already told you the developer have some make some changes in the wallpaper and the start button and something. So this is the Windows XP. I don't recommend you to uh, start using the Windows XP after the fully booted. Wait uh, after booting. So as you can see, it's still loading because the desktop is started uh, loading and installing some drivers. So we have selected the network card let uh, you have to wait for the network card installed in the windows xp 
you i recommend you don't start using after the windows boot and as you can see there are a lot of preloaded softwares that deliver the developer have put lot of softwares in this windows xp as you can see or firefox lot of games flash player any decks a uh, seven zip uh, all the basic uh, or software the developer have put in this windows xp so as you can see it's still loading here i recommend you to wait uh, about uh, one minute after booting it will take about to one to two minutes to fully boot and i recommend you to wait to one more minute here because it's installing the drivers as you can see here after installing drivers uh, the windows xp will going to uh, work very fast and quick at first it will work very slow Uh, though that's why i don't recommend you to use wait for a while so it will uh, start working fast and quick and one more thing i'm going to tell you this is the in not the english language it is in the russian language but you can understand if you know how to use pc you can understand and you can easily use like i am using i have using this windows xp from past one day and i have and i see this window is perfectly working and can be very usable i didn't get any problem if it is in russian language if you know how to use pc you can understand how to uh, if, if you know how to use windows uh, xp you can understand and you can use this uh, windows xp pc in your android phone the internet is connected as you can see there is an uh, e logo appear here it means the internet is connected and make sure you are connected with your uh, mobile phone internet so as you can see i have waited for about 30 seconds and i think the drivers installation has been completed uh, while using the volume buttons you can uh, refresh the desktop and get the more option like i am doing as you can see just now i've pressed the volume down button and get the more option of the desktop and now i can click the refresh as you can see now first of all i am going to uh, show you uh, the start button and show you the preloaded all the preloaded software with this windows xp and as you can see the developer have put lot of software in this 7zip cc cleaner games firefox the firefox pre browser is preloaded i am going to open it and as you can see so this is the firefox i am going to open it at first it will going to take some time to open at first attempt after it will going to uh, open anything very fast i have already told you that so just now i have clicked to a uh, firefox i am going to open the firefox browser in this windows xp so as you can see in the screen the firefox has been successfully opened and it will try to opening some website so i am going to uh, cancel that website and i am going to insert uh, i am going to search in the search bar so i am going to just type www. i am going to open the google search engine let us see the internet is working or not with google Uh, so as you can see the google search engine is opened here and it successfully detected my ip uh, the internet and the ip sync with this limbo pc emulator and as you can see this is the google search engine uh, it is in the russian language but i one thing i am going to do uh, i am going to set the english language in the google search engine now one thing i am going to do i am going to turn on the screen rotation and turn the android phone so as you can see in the screen just now i've turned my android phone and set up my camera uh, to get the better view and better understanding for you so this is the google search engine uh, now i am going to type something in the google search engine i have selected the language english in the google search engine now i didn't get any problem with the russian language now i can understand anything so in google search engine i'm type going to type so as you can see in the screen just now i have type uh, my website name in google search engine as you can see it will showing all the search result as you can see in the screen the google search engine is perfectly working the internet is perfectly working now i'm going to open my website from now onwards uh, if i am going to open and if i am going to test the internet i am only going to open my website to show you whether the internet is working or not and you can also understand uh, there is a website so there is there is a website with name tech 
tips with king you can get into the website and you can uh, read the detailed article of my tutorials in that uh, website i have sh i've shown and written down written down the all the detailed articles about how you can run windows how you can run pc softwares in android so this is the website you can check out my website the website link is also in the description so as you can see this is the website open here internet is a bit slow because i have say uh, i have internet is a bit slow at the time because i am sitting very far from my wi-fi so as you can see this is the website perfectly open here it's still loading so the internet is perfectly working in this windows xp and as you can see there are a lot of preloaded softwares now i am going to uh, show you the properties of this pc just uh, a volume down button to get the more options It is in the rational language but you didn't get any problem while using i have already touched the everything is perfectly working and as you can see this is the microsoft windows xp professional frozen to server pack 2 so it, this is the uh some uh, the developer have uh, make some changes in this windows xp to look like so now i'm going to open any software so let test uh, uh, let's open the flash player software so this is the flash player to where and lot of people commenting on my videos to show uh, windows that can access internet and have lot of preloaded software so this is the windows xp have preloaded softwares and can access internet so this is the ability flash player software as you can see it's perfectly open here now you can use it now i'm going to open the any any text software let test if the software is working or not and there are a lot of preloaded softwares you can use and you can also install software so in my previous video i've already shown how you can install any software in windows xp you can check out my previous video and there are a lot of upcoming videos on my channel i'm going to show how you can uh, access uh, internet with different different windows so as you can see this is the anytech software successfully open here it is in the different language but you, you can understand if you know how to use it So as you can see this is the uh, so as you can see in the screen this is the windows xp fully working uh, with the internet and can also open any software it means this is the fully working windows xp with the uh, internet and softwares so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you